Well, this particular fish is a Mediterranean sea bass. This mm -hmm. one's from Greece. Okay. So, um, you flew it's, it in special just we for We flew us. it in special today, yeah. So it's a nice, light, flaky fish. And what's nice about this preparation is it it kind of steams the fish inside of it with the with the citrus and the aromatics, and it just mm -hmm. flavors the entire fish. And it's just a really nice presentation. Cool. So it's it's, it starts out <laughs> it starts out really easy. We get about six egg whites. Okay. And pop them into a bowl and whisk them up. All right. So, you get them frothy, like. Get them nice and frothy, about um, not stiff peaks, like salt peaks. And then we're gonna mix a lot of sea salt in there. A lot. A lot I mean, of sea a salt. Lot yeah. Of sea salt. Does it have to be sea salt? The sea salt, the coarse kosher sea salt, mm -hmm. works the best because it, it it gets like a sandy consistency and the egg whites help form a, a very dense crust over okay. top of it once it's... So you don't want to use like an iodized table salt no, for this? No, never, okay. no. Good, good Real know. chefs never use <laughs> iodized table That's salt. That's an excellent point. That's never, never. I don't, even, I don't even think I have any in my house. Yeah, I think no. I use it to kill slugs. <laughs> right. So we're going to put a, a copious amount of sea salt in here. All right, so you got those whites pretty frothy. Yeah, they're pretty frothy. Okay. And we're going to mix it around until it has like a sandy consistency. Yeah, it's exactly what it looks like is wet sand on the mm -hmm. beach. You could make those little drippy castles with yes. it, you know? So, I mean, just, it's nice to flavor this too. Some people put a little bit of rosemary inside it. Well, mm -hmm. Do you like the way that came? I love it, All yeah. Right. <laughs> I have to put, here, put a pinch of pepper in there for me. Okay. Because it kind of flavors the outside of the fish as well. And you flavor the inside of the fish too. Okay. So, let's put a little bit on, on the baking sheet here. So, the egg white is going to... I guess firm up and kind of create that crust in the oven. Is it's, that what happens? Exactly. I've never made this before. No. No. First time for everything. Yeah. So this is really, it's a really nice preparation mm -hmm. because it, it all tastes good. Believe it or not, it comes really well. I believe you. All right. So um, you put the you put a layer down on the baking sheet because what this does is insulates the fish from overcooking so okay. quickly. So I like to put in some uh, rosemary. Mm -hmm. Now, do you want the lemons and half moons also? Well, they're small enough. I think it'll fit. So you're stuffing these all inside. Stuffing them all inside just to flavor the inside of the fish. And this is like really simple and easy and cover the fish. And it doesn't make the fish salty at all. No, I'm still having fish a hard time isn't salty. It. Wait, I'm going to make it look pretty. Okay, so you got to really spread it around. Yeah, so if you're good at spackling at home, this... <laughs> Is a good technique. I can't say that's one of my skills, <laughs> nor do I want it to be. So what we do with this is, now this is basically finished. Um, so okay. I wouldn't say prepare it too much ahead of time because <clears throat> the, um, the egg whites have a tendency sometimes to leak a little moisture out of it. All right. So, um, and then you just, this goes in the oven at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. That's it. Or, or until the internal temperature is about 135. Okay. You don't want to overcook it. No. And then you take it out not. and let it rest a few minutes mm -hmm. and then you crack it open.